Hey everyone, Pastor Tiffany here bringing you this week's weekly mentoring video. Uh, recently, I, I've been on this sort of journey, if you will, uh, about just discovering another level of who God is in my life. And so I really wanted to share uh, with you just briefly what the Lord is doing, what He's revealing to me, because I think so many of us deal with uh, some of these issues um, and we haven't really figured out how to walk through it. So first off, what happened um, recently as I read Proverbs chapter 30, verse 5, which I'll read to you, it says this, Every word of God is flawless. He is a shield to those who take refuge in him. Uh, and I was using the SOAP method of journaling. So you write down the scripture and then the observation, the application, and a prayer. And my observation on that was there, it says, Every word of God is flawless. That means there is nothing wrong ever uh, with what God has said or is going to say. And so the observation is, if I put my trust in him, that I will be guarded and I will be protected by him. And so I have this uh, thought that so often we filter our life experience or things that happen to us uh, based on things that have happened in the past. Um, so let's say someone you know, I'm praying about something and God doesn't come through for me or I feel like he doesn't come through for me. I place an assumption on God that he wasn't there or he helps sometimes but not all the times. Uh, and then I, I was reminded of that scripture in Proverbs chapter 3, verse 5 and 6, where the Lord says, Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge him and he will make your path straight. And that you know, I've read the verse before. It's like a popular memory verse. If you've ever read scripture or been a part of a Bible study, you know, you're encouraged to memorize that verse because it's a good one. Uh, but I got to thinking about that in all your ways, acknowledge him. So in every circumstance or situation where I feel like God didn't come through for me or it didn't, what happened to me didn't line up with who I believe God is, in all your ways, acknowledge him. Were you there, God? So it's simply slowing down and asking God the question, were you there in that moment? Where were you at that time? Why, why didn't I feel your presence? And then letting him answer. And I think so often we miss that part. We just go through life and, you know, we hear that, well, everything happens for a reason. You know, God's got his purpose, but only he knows, which is true. I mean, God knows, but he also answers our questions. There's another scripture I was reminded of. Uh, it's Philippians 4, 6, right, where God says, do not be anxious about anything, but with prayer and thanksgiving, ask God about everything. Make your petitions known. Make your requests known. And so when we have things that happen in our life, uh, if you're on this journey getting to know the Lord, it's very simply being so honest and real uh, and saying, hey, God, what happened? Where were you? And not in, you know, I, would, I don't want to say do that in, a, in an angry way, but in a, in a contemplative, reflecting way. Were you there in that moment? God, can you show me the truth of what happened? Because I want to believe your word and not just, uh, well, you know, not just my assumptions. And so um, I want to go back to that soap I wrote. So the observation was there's nothing wrong ever with what God has said or will say. And so the application that I, that I wrote down for that is that there is a way to live our lives protected. Uh, there's a way to live your life and have a sense of security about who you are uh, and what happens in your life. And it's very simple. It, it sounds simple, but really, you know, the Lord says uh, again in another scripture that wide is the gate that leads to destruction, but narrow is the path that leads to everlasting life and very few find it. And I think uh, that everlasting life, of course, it's eternal life in heaven, but that abundant everlasting life here now is based on choices and decisions that we make. I either make an assumption about God by choosing that, or I choose to ask him and, and a question and get to know him better. Um, and so it's by knowing and believing every word that God has spoken, to believe it. Uh, God protects his kids. Uh, he protects those who have made their home in him. So it's, it's really easy, I think, to read scripture and be aware of what God has said. But it's another thing entirely to read scripture and actually believe that it's true for you and for me. Because again, we filter life and what the word says based on what we've seen rather than his truth. Um, and so we need the challenge is to take the word of God seriously and then apply the word. You know, so it says turn from sin, repent, uh, extend forgiveness to people, walk forward 
boldly have faith and to filter life through his word and acknowledge him in every situation rather than just make assumptions about our life or about who God is.